Applying Lincoln's new form vocabulary to the model set to wear its most recognizable nameplate, the Navigator concept is an enormous and surprisingly lovely thing. Don't be seduced by the huge gull wing doors and wood paneled concertina staircase, those are strictly conceptual touches, devised to provide a good view of its interior, according to Lincoln, but spend some time checking out the details, including its elegant headlamps, slim horizontal tailpipes, wide lower air intakes, cantilevered rear air deflector, and straight to gently dropping down to the signature Lincoln grille. The turbofan style wheels lay it on a little thick, but for the most part, this is as elegant a form as we can imagine for any full-size, three-row SUV. As with the Continental concept, this Navigator already has critics calling its originality into question, particularly with respect to its slab-sided Range Rover-esque proportions and blackout C and D pillars, as well as its Aston Martin-like fender garnishes. Accusations of copycat design work have never seemed to cause Ford or Lincoln much concern, though. Based on how closely the production Continental hues to the lines of its concept forbear, we don't expect Lincoln to make substantial changes to the production Navigator that will appear in 2017. Adding B-pillars and using four conventional doors seem obvious necessities, of course, but the basic shape should survive. And we have confirmed that the production model will indeed be called Navigator and not something like MKN. Phew. The Navigator concept matches its continental forbear in boasting a richly dressed interior. Lincoln claims the teak and chrome trimmed cabin is roomier than that of the current Navigator or any Navigator before it. Seats for six, in a space where others would squeeze seven or eight occupants, sprawl over three rows, each containing two. Come <laughs> on.